it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a redo of what I just posted yesterday. This earring tutorial. I was out of focus for part of it and I didn't realize it until I uploaded it and I was watching it. Um, usually I film my videos and I put them together and I don't really watch the whole video as long as I know that the filming went great, you know, then I don't have to. And you guys, a couple of you guys hadn't mentioned it and I felt really bad, so I'm redoing this now. <laughs> so I'm gonna delete the other one and repost this one. So if you're like, oh, I just saw this post come up, it's because I redid it. <clears throat> so I'm using the Beads of the Month Club from Adornable Elements. I received two of them monthly, the Hot and Trendy Beads of the Month and the Two Whole Beads of the Month. And you can use my coupon code BNJewelry10 to save 10% off on your order from them. I will leave a link to the code and their website below as well. I'm using today, these are, let me grab these. These are the Crystal Etched Teal Luster Tulip Petals. And these are from the Hot and Trendy Beads of the Month Club for September, the Arctic Storm. And then I'm also using, let me grab some of these. The Gold Splash Smoke Topaz Gem Duos from the Two Whole Beat of the Month, Pangea. Pangea. So that's what I'm using today. And I'm so sorry, I was out of focus. I didn't realize that I'm not used to doing bead weaving on here. I'm used to just making jewelry, you know, where I can have it right up here. And I kept bringing it down as I was sewing it. So I lifted up my camera a little more today. So we are going to be making this earring, and then this, I will, I'll show you the pendant when I'm all done. So I'm using this beading thread by Wildfire by Beetle On. You can screenshot that if you want. And I have a pretty decent amount, not a ton, but a pretty decent amount on my thread, on my needle. So we're gonna start out by making the circle. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven of the gem duos with, oh, and I also am using yellow um, um, 110 seed beads and like a green, almost a Picasso finish 110 seed bead. And then I'm using, um, 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 these are 60 gold seed beads too as well and then i have a gold ear wire craftword so now i'm going to stay in focus you learn something new when you're making these videos um okay so what we're going to do is we're going to start out we're taking a green we're going to do and you want to make sure because these gem duos they have a top and a bottom so the top is more rounded and then if you flip it over it's flat so you want every uh, you want all of them to be going the same way. So we're gonna start. I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna do the front. I'll grab one of them. I'll grab one green, and then one of them. Green. And I always before I go and tie this, I want to make sure that everything is. So I'm going to do seven seed beads and seven gem duos. Five, so I'm going to do two more. I made another video too, and I think I'm just going to redo that one as well. Because <laughs> I don't want to have to redo it again. I'm like, <clears throat> okay. So I have one, two, three, four. So I have seven. Of these and seven of the seed beads. So now I'm going to bring this down and I'm going to tie it into, and you want to make sure that when you tie it the second time it goes over the same one because if it ends up weaving going over to another bead when you tie it then it won't, um, let me see, so we got that. And then I'm gonna I'm just gonna do one. Oh, see how that's going. Okay. Once you get that first one, you want to make sure that it goes. 
it's both on that side of that seat bead, if that makes sense. So now I'm going to do a double knot or a surgeon's knot, and you go once, and then you go twice. And then you want that to go over that same one again. I like to uh, just give it a little tug like that. And I'm going to take, I'm just going to put that in the back. <clears throat> like that. And then I'm going to cut it. I do leave a teeny bit of thread. Okay. I'm uber aware of not going out of focus with this. Okay. So now next, what we're going to do is we're going to do... Let me see here. Okay. So we have this outside there. Now we're going to do these. I'm going to do the um, the yellow seed beads in between the super duos again on the top. This is a really easy um, fix. So now I'm going to turn it over this way to start it. So it's backwards. So you want to make sure that all your super duos are going to go that way. And then what I do is I bring that up to the second, to the top hole right there. So then I'm going to do a 11 seed bead. I'm going to turn these backwards because I'm, I've got it backwards. And I'm going to do that, one of those. I'm going to that. And I'm that. So you see how that's going right like that? So we're going to do that again. So we'll do another yellow, another backward super duo and you could just I could have just done it the other way it doesn't really matter as long as they're facing the same way but I like to step up the one um, the super duo and have the get that over Okay, we're doing that one there. And then we're gonna do another yellow, another super duo, and another yellow one. Like that, and I think we have three more. Yellow. Super Duo. I have to get, um, I have to get one more out of the pack. I think one of them fell on the floor when I was undoing this earring to redo so you guys could see it. Okay. Looks like I'm in view. Okay, so now we're going to do yellow. And yeah, this backward super duo. I've been having such a blast with these boxes or packages or bead packs, whatever you want to call them. Um, yellow and the super duo. Okay, super duo. And that. Okay, and then I'm going to go through <clears throat> a couple of those. Oh, I'm sorry. Hold on one second. I made a mistake. I wasn't supposed to go through this top one. That's why I didn't have one. See, I'm doing this like days later. Hold on one second. Let me... see I went through too many of them there we go okay there we go let me 
can get out of this. We're supposed to leave a space up at the top. Okay. Hold on one second. I'm sorry. Where are we going here? Okay. Oh, here I am. Okay. There we go. This is why I ended up getting out of focus last time because I was trying to see. Because it's like you want to use thread that then won't, you know, show up, but then when you undo it, okay, let me get this. Okay, so, okay, that's why I didn't need another one. I thought it fell on the floor. Okay, this is because I'm redoing this. <laughs> Okay, so we have all of these. So now what we're doing is we're gonna do these four yellow ones right there. That's what we're doing, okay. So now we're gonna do four yellow ones. So you see how I didn't put that on top there. Okay, so we do four yellows. We're gonna go I need to turn this around so I can. Okay, and now we're going through these. No, we're going through the Super Duo and the yellow. I'm sorry. So we get up like this. So, and this is the back of it. So now we're going to step up to the top hole of Super Duo like that. And then we're gonna do a gold one. Now this is the back of it, so you wanna make sure that the, the petals are facing the back side. So just be super aware as you're doing that. So you see how that's going like that? So we're gonna do another one. And we're gonna do another one like this. We're going to do that. This is such a pretty, I had so much fun making these, designing these and making these. Okay. <clears throat> so we got that. Just lay these like that, make it easier. Okay, we're gonna do the last one. I'm gonna do that, okay. So that's where we're at right there. You see that? So now I'm going to, let me see. So this is it backwards. So we're gonna come down we're through there. We're gonna come down and go through the yellow one. Let's see if I can get my... Go through the yellow one. Let me see for one second. Okay. So 
So now I'm gonna do, oh, let me move that. So now I'm gonna do 10 on the top there. 10 yellow ones. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Let me make sure I have 10 on there. That's it. Okay. And now we're going to go down through this yellow one here. I will put it through and then I'll show you. So, see how that looks there? So we have that like that. So now that's done. So now I'm going to go through just a few more of these. And I'm going to tie it off. Two and three. And you can um, double that up on top if you want. Um, you can re go through all the holes again. Okay, so now I'm going to do my first tie. I'm going to do a double one. And let me get my there we go. And then we're gonna go through a couple more of them. One, two. This one and the yellow one. And then the Super Duo, another yellow one. And you can re-thread through these as many times as you like. Do another one right there. And then I go through a couple more so when I cut it, I'm not cutting it right by the the piece. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my cutters and leave just a tiny little piece of black thread. That's it's on the back too. So here I have this. Now I'm gonna take my gold air wire open that up now you want to make sure because this is this would be the front of it so you want to make sure that you're putting it on backwards and then I'm trying to get to where I'm right in the middle with the seed beads so it'll stay in there and it might move around that's okay as long you know and here you have the second tutorial <laughs> for these earrings. So here are the earrings and I'll show you the pendant that I made with it. I love the way these turned out. I think they're so cute. Then I made this um, pendant to go with it. It almost looks like it's crocheted you know, let me move these out of the way. So they're not falling everywhere. Just I'll clean them up later. So yeah, so we have these and then we have the pendant as well. The pendant I just did 
a bigger version of these. So the pendant has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine um, of the Super Duos in them, and this has seven. So I did pretty much the same thing. I did change it up a little bit, and I put gold and green in there, but it still matches, you know. So you can, you know, you can change that up however you like it. So yeah, thank you for um, sitting through this video again. <laughs> so sorry about the last one. Um, I'm super aware now while I'm sewing online um, with thread because I'm, I think I'm just like, I end up bringing up too close to my face and before you know it, it's off camera. So I think this one was much better. So um, yeah, I like I said, the code is BN Jewelry 10 and I will leave a link below if you are interested in checking out Adornable Elements boxes. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so and hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. And I also have my Etsy link where I sell most of my jewelry, my Instagram, my Pinterest, and my Facebook links below if you'd like to follow me. And please let me know in the comments what you think. And like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> so thank you for watching and being patient through this. And I will see you on my next video. Have a great day.